In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing a quadratic function given its zeros. We're asked to write the quadratic function h whose zeros are 3 and 7. And to do so, it's helpful if we start with the quadratic function already factored. So if our function were already factored, we know that it would be x and x. And if this were equal to 0, we know that this would happen when x is 3. So if I put in a minus 3 here, if I replace the x with 3, this whole term would become 0. So multiplying it with another term would also be 0. So that's one solution. And since we have another 0 of 7, I can again put in a minus 7 over here. Replacing x with 7 would give us 7 minus 7, which is 0. This term now goes to 0, and multiplied with another term would give me a 0. So we have sort of reverse engineered our zeros into each one of these terms. And since we now know that this quadratic will have zeros at 3 and 7, to find the equation, I'll just foil this out to be x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 7, which is a minus 7x, minus 3 times x is a minus 3x, minus 3 times minus 7, a plus 21. And I can clean this up by combining like terms. We would have minus 7 minus 3x is a minus 10x. Bring down the plus 21. This would be our h of x function that has zeros at both 3 and 7. And I know that it has those zeros because I made the factors go to 0 at both of those two values. So this function is our solution.